What's going on ladies and gentlemen, it's Daniel and welcome back to our video today. I'm going to be talking about the truck series race from Atlanta Motor Speedway, the Freight 8 Auctions 200. Right before the green flag dropped earlier today, a almost a disastrous situation ended up taking place before the green flag. Brad Moffitt's engine apparently uh, failed, uh, had an issue with the engine and they would basically have to start at the tail end. It was almost like he wasn't even going to show up at the race or even start at the beginning of the race but he was able to get going and he had pretty good speed overall in the day but that really was sent back so he'll start 10th in this race and overall he had a pretty fast truck but that was set him back throughout most of the race i'm going to be honest with you guys there really was not much that happened in this race only major incidents or situations that really happened overall in this race was when uh, chandler smith he had to come down pit road twice he had some issues early in the day uh, I don't know, the splitter seemed like it was dragging on the racetrack, and then there was a suspension issue that happened that would unfortunately take him out of contention. He was driving back up to the front and running in the top 20 most of the day, but unfortunately, he would end up going like 7 or 8 laps down and finishing, I think today, 35th in the race, which is really, really disappointing, considering Chandler Smith has not had the best start of the year. He definitely needs to get the season turned around very, very soon, and very, very quickly, because I think that he is a very good race car driver, and I think the fact that we haven't had much practice qualifying this year is Starting off last year to end of this year, I think that is overall affecting John Hunter, not John Hunter Nemechek, uh, Chandler Smith. I think that is overall affecting Chandler Smith overall this season. Uh, both stages today would be won by uh, John Hunter Nemechek. Kyle Busch overall had the best truck most today, but he let John Hunter Nemechek go. Let's be honest here. John Hunter Nemechek was given those two stage wins by Kyle Busch. Basically, Kyle Busch is trying to help his driver. I don't blame the owner of the team trying to help their driver, who in my opinion is the favorite to win the championship right now, who has shown overall a lot of great promise and a lot of great speed to start off this year. I think John Hernimacek is the guy to beat right now, and he's been really, really fast start this year. And for a lot of the day, it looked like John Hernimacek was going to be the guy who was going to challenge Kyle Busch, but he got trapped behind a lap car on the final green flag piss up. I think it was Akinario got in the 33 trick, and it got held up by then, and Austin Hill was able to make the pass, and his car just was not very good on the long run of time. So Austin Hill at the end of the race, it looked like he was going to be a major, major contender at the end of the race to catch Kyle Busch at the end of the day, but his truck kind of got held back, and he really was never to get able to get through traffic as good, and that held him back, and really, like I said, this race is dominated by Kyle Busch. Coming off the final corner today at Atlanta Motor Speedway, Kyle Busch would dominate lead over 100 laps here at Atlanta Motor Speedway, and he was for his first win in all three his NASCAR series here in 2021. Kyle Busch, who is my pick to win coming in this race, is your winner here at Atlanta Motor Speedway. So now let's go ahead and go through the race results this race, and then we'll tell you my score overall for today's race. So like I said, Kyle Busch won today's race in very, very convincing fashion. Best car overall throughout the day. No surprise that Kyle Busch won. Austin Hill finished second today. Austin Hill had a very, very good run in my honest opinion. He looked really, really strong, especially in the second half of the race, but he was really, really never able to get up during the end of the day, and Kyle Busch's truck was just too strong for him to catch. But a second place start for Austin Hill was really, really good here at Atlanta Motor Speedway. Is no surprise to me. John Nemechek, we talked about him. He was already the second fastest truck most of the day, but he really was not able to go catch Kyle Busch at the end of the race, and his truck kind of fell off at the end of the race. But a third place run for John Nemechek. Like I said, I am thinking right now that John Nemechek is right now the clear favorite to win the NASCAR Truck Series Championship. He's showing a lot of speed early in the season, and I think right now as we continue the farther in the year, I think he will continue to assume as the favorite to win the championship. Uh, Johnny Sauter with the fourth place run today. Very, very solid run for Johnny Sauter. He ran top outside the top 10 a lot of the day, but his truck really started coming in, in the, once we got to stage three. And he was able to get up to fourth place. Really, really strong run for uh, Johnny Sauter. Sheldon Creed was solid top five. Sam Smith finished sixth. Ross Chastain was really, really one of the stars in sh to watch during this race. He was a show in this race for sure. He drove from, I think, back in like 35th or 36th in this race to basically finish 7th. A really strong run. He ran top 5 quite a bit of this race too, but kind of fell back at the end of the race. Matt Crafton finished 8th. He looked really strong in the early portions of the runs, but his truck really, really fell back, and he was never able to really recover up there. Brett Moffitt, after his engine issues, he gets a ninth place run, solid run for Brett Moffitt today. And Stuart Friesen, who had the battle back from a speeding penalty, he had a top five truck a lot of today's race. But once again, like I said, he had a battle back from a speeding penalty, but he still comes back with a solid 10th place run. Nice run for Stuart Friesen today. Grant Infinger finishes 11th, not a bad run. Carson Osmar finishes 12th. Derek Cross finishes 13th. Parker Kligerman finishes 14th. Ryan Trucks finishes 15th. Ben Rose finishes 16th. Todd Gillen finishes 17th. Tyler Anker finishes 18th. Uh, Tanner Gray finishes 19th, and Spencer Davis finishes 20th here in today's race, which I found this out a couple days ago, that he has switched to points 
with uh, the A team, the Nemco Motorsports team. That's why Nemco was not in the race, and Spencer Davis' team was in the race today as well. Haley Deegan finishes 21st. Again, I think her not having practice qualifying is really, really affecting her performance so far to start off in 2021. I think that she will overall get better as season goes on. The more time she gets experience she gets in the car, the better. I think she definitely will be a threat next week at Bristol Dirt. She's very, very good on dirt tracks. She won the Las Vegas uh, dirt track back in 2019. And it also almost won in 2018. So keep an eye on her next week. I think she's going to eventually get better. She just needs more time in this race car. Uh, Josh Berry, uh, who finished 22nd day, he had to take over for Chris Wright this weekend. Saw a run for him today for the Youngest Motors. Was 22nd place. Not a bad run for that organization. Uh, tw 22 of Austin himself finished his third. Chase Birdie finished 24th. Jordan Anderson, who tried to play a strategy call, which really bit him in the ass. It kind of hurt him overall at the end of the race, but gets a 25th place finish. Not a bad run over there. The 12th truck of Tate Vogel finished 26th. Corey Ober finished 27th. Danny Bone finished 28th. 29th place goes to Cody Roba. And 30th place goes to Timothy Peters. Dawson Grant finishes 31st. 32nd place goes to Brett Holmes. 33rd, Spencer Boyd. 34th place goes to Ryan Ellis. Chandler Smith finished 35th. Bill Lester finishes 36th. I thought Bill Lester was going to run a little bit better, to be honest with you. But, hey, it was really, really awesome to see Bill Lester back in the truck series. I'm very, very glad to see a guy like him back on the racetrack. And hopefully he gets to come back and run some more races because I am just was happy to see him. Apparently he got booed by a bunch of fans before the race. Again, I know drivers overall do sometimes get booed. But you know what kind of fans are booing him. Let's be honest. 37th place goes to Akinari Ogata. 30th place goes to Jennifer Jokob. Rafael Sarr finished 30th. I don't know what happened to Rafael Sarr. They never mentioned what was going on with Rafael Sarr. I don't know if he had some issues, but he kept going down pit road. And just he was never up there and never talked about him once in this race, which I found out very, very disappointing. And finishing last in today's race was Norm Benning in the sixth truck. So now I'm going to overall get you my score of today's race. And then we're going to get out of here. And we'll talk about the Xfinity Series race here later today as well. So... I'm going to be real with y'all with this race. I thought today's race was okay. Well, it wasn't great. I'm going to be real with y'all. I thought today's race was iffy. I think it was terrible, but I didn't think it was really, really good here. I thought it was more boring of a snoozer fest than anything. I'm going to give today's race a five or, well, four out of ten, to be honest with you. I think this has been the worst truck series race. Well, arguably the worst truck series race. You can argue the Daytona Road Course truck race was really, really bad as well. But I thought that this race really wasn't that great, to be honest, either. And I was expecting more out of today's race, but really not much happened. But when Kyle Busch is racing, a lot of times they're going to get these more boring races. But Kyle Busch gets a win today. 60th career win, by the way, in the truck series, which that's pretty, pretty cool. But again, it's Kyle Busch in, in a lower series race against those guys. He really didn't have that much competition today. I mean, John Arimacek gave him competition, but that's about it. Everyone else really didn't try to show anything. But overall, my score today's Truck Series race is going to be a very, very low score of 4 out of 10. So anyway, that is going to be for today's NASCAR race review from Atlanta Motor Speedway, the Freight 8 Austin's 200. I want to thank you guys for watching. Please like, subscribe to the channel. Turn on the song. You'll be notified when a video does go live on my channel. Follow me on Twitter, Face, and Instagram. And support me on Patreon as well. Link description below for that. And comment your thoughts on today's race. What are your thoughts about today's race at Atlanta Motor Speedway? Let me know in the comments. I'll give your scores of today's truck series race in below. Anyway, like I said, I want to thank you guys for watching today's video. And I'll see you guys next time. Take care, everybody. we got the Xfinity Series race that's coming up here very, very soon. I'm going to go ahead and watch that. So I'll see you guys next time. So some more awesome NASCAR, great NASCAR content. Take care, everybody.